how to add subscriptions on your Shopify store step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're looking to add a subscription based program or plan on your Shopify store, you can easily do it by following this tutorial. Now, the first thing you need to know about subscription based plans on Shopify is that Shopify's native application does not allow you to create a subscription based plan. So if I have a tech coaching class, like I've added this as a product, however, if I show you guys the product categorizations that are available, there is no way in which you can categorize something as subscription based. So to do that, we actually will be using a application and there are several applications available that can enable you to add subscriptions on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure you go into settings on your bottom left. And once you go into settings, you have billing. Now, whenever you're on the Shopify trial, a lot of people haven't set up billing yet. So it's very essential you set up your billing and your checkout and payment. So you guys can see I've added a bogus payment method that is going to function on my Shopify store. And below that, I also have a manual payment method added. So it's very important that you already have your payment method added because a lot of the times if you are using a application for subscriptions it is not going to work until you have a manual or any kind of payment method so once you have set that up what you're going to do is you can go back into settings go and scroll down and you can go into the app market app and sales channel and then click on shopify app store and this will open up the shopify app store from here, we can use any application like App Store or any other application. So you're just going to search for subscription over here. And once you search for subscription, you can see there are quite a few different applications. So you have Seal Subscription, you have Securing, you also have App Store, Recurpay, Loop, Subify, and more. So I recommend you go with something like App Store or Seal Subscription. I have personally used these while building Shopify stores, and I do think that they are amazing. Plus, they have free plans as well as premium plans available. Now, Securing and Subscriptions app is a free application. It is also really good in setting up your Shopify store and setting up, you know, subscription based plans. Plus, it was designed for keeping Shopify in mind. So it is another great application that is relatively new. However, is a great application for Shopify. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be using Securing and Subscriptions app because it is a particularly well integrated with Shopify. So I'm going to just click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will have to choose your Shopify store and your Shopify account that you're using. And just like that, this will open up your installation. So you're going to click on install app and you're going to allow it all the permissions that it requires to function. Now, once your app has been integrated, you're going to find it on the bottom left over here, just like so. And you guys can see you are going to have a basic subscription setup. So we're going to click on get started over here. And once you click on get started, you have create your subscription plan. Now, let's exit this if you're not going to work directly over here. If you're just overwhelmed, you can make sure that you go ahead and pin the CASA subscriptions on the left side so it's easier for you to access. And you will see your basic subscription. So the first thing you want to do is build your subscriptions. And usually with some applications, you can categorize product subscriptions. And with some applications, you build native subscriptions within the application itself. For App Store, you can categorize product as subscriptions. So once I go into CASA subscriptions, I'm going to click on get started over here. And the first thing you have is selling your plan or your subscription. So whatever is your subscription name, um, let's say that it is going to be a watch repair course, then you have your plan selector. So you have to label the plan selector that will be displayed. So let's say for us, this is going to be now, after that, you're going to have product to be purchased with. So if this is a subscription only or a subscription and one time purchase. So let's say this is going to be a subscription only wash repair course that I'm going to provide over the course of a particular duration of time. Now, after that, you have your subscription frequency. So, for example, I have this uh, subscription delivered. Maybe I'm doing one class a week, so I will be doing 
one class a week and then you have your description so this will be a so let's say online class on zoom with all students followed by a Q&A session now after that people can choose if they want to subscribe and save or if they want it to be prepaid so with the subscribe and save interval method people can set you know a kind of weighted system where they can pay with each specific class or if the entire thing is going to be paid for at once let's say i want this entire thing to be paid for at once so the interval displayed to the customers on product page like this and then i want this to be in weeks the day the customer will get charged is going to be uh, the same day of their initial order and then the minimum number of fulfillments maximum number of fulfillments is going to be one now this is depending on how many people you want to enroll in a particular course let's say i want to do this one by one so if this is like a core a group course i can add a larger number so let's say i want to do this course in numbers of maybe maximum 10 and minimum of five because maybe if i offer this course for less than five people it's not going to be worthwhile for me so I'm going to add minimum as 5 and then maximum as 10. And then there is not going to be any discount. And I'm going to click on save. Now after that, I have to add my subscription frequency, deliver order every two weeks, building order every two weeks, zero discounts. Customer will get charged on date. We have zero cutoff date. And the minimum number of full moments is 5 and maximum is 10. So everything has been added. This is going to be our plan. And you can click on add selling plan like this to add a different frequency. So if maybe someone wants to subscribe to a professional plan, maybe it's still a wash repair course, but it's more detailed or it's for professionals. You can offer more classes or build a separate course or subscription for that as well. This is more useful in terms of food delivery applications. So if you're looking to build a food delivery service and some people might only want to have a uh, breakfast and dinner de delivered to them some people might want a three meals a day delivered to them some people might want three meals and two snacks delivered so for that it's easy to add them all those variable options directly into one place now after that you can add selling your plan product so you can click on add products over here and you can add subscription based products these can be something like uh, bento boxes or something uh, along the lines of like a mystery box if you want to add those but i'm just going to this i'm not going to add the second one and just like that our little subscription plan has now been set up so once you have set up your subscription plan you can choose how you want it to be laid out you have the first layout the second one and the third one so i want to go with the third one over here and then click on save and next now after that once you have done this you can go on go to shopify and enable your casa subscription widget so we're going to go on ahead and open up our shopify store you can go on ahead and embed this into any kind of uh, section that you want so if you want this to be in your product section or any other section so we have this app and we're going to click on manage application we're going to click on save over here so as you guys can see our casa subscription is now live if you click on casa subscription now and you will be able to see your subscription plan all of the orders that you have for your subscriptions the contracts that you have so basically the people that have subscribed or the people that have subscribed to a particular product then you have your basic settings so general settings style settings how you want your widget to appear you can click on that because that can be very essential for a lot of people how they want it to appear and i am going to click on request for widget and then you can display your widget on your product page or you can display it on your home page so if you want it to be apparent in all of your pages you can display it over there as well otherwise you have to go with their basic widgets that they do have already so once you have set on your subscription plans you can start managing them from your back end and that is how you can add subscriptions to your shopify store i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you in the next video